Global Foundries – booming chip manufacturing business of Global Foundries Global Foundries was created in 2008 when it was spun off by Intel rival AMD after selling its manufacturing arm AMD became a fabulous semiconductor manufacturer. Global Foundries owned by Mubadala Investment Company, Sovereign Wealth Fund of United Arab Emirates. It manufactures chips designed for markets such as mobility, automotive, computing and wired connectivity, Internet of Things and industrial. As of 2021, Global Foundries is the fourth largest semiconductor manufacturer, producing 7% of chips globally. It operates fabs in US, EU and Singapore. It is a trusted foundry for the United States federal government and has similar designations in Singapore and Germany. Global Foundry is fourth largest semiconductor manufacturing fab in the world. The top five semiconductor manufacturing fabs are Taiwan's TSMC, Samsung from South Korea, UMC from Taiwan, Global Foundries from United States, and SMIC of China. Global Foundry CEO, we are sold out of semiconductor chips capacity through 2023. Global Foundries debuted on Nasdaq in October 2021, valued at over $25 billion. The company specialized in manufacturing the kind of less advanced chips that are currently in short supply around the world. But Global Foundries needs to convince public market investors that the company is riding a wave of increased demand that won't fizzle out after pandemic-related supply issues and that it can increase profitability even as it spends billions on a capital-intensive business. I think for the better part of the next 5 to 10 years, we are going to be chasing supply, not demand, Global Foundry CEO Tom Kaulfeld said. Global Foundry's clients include Qualcomm, MediaTek, NXP Semiconductors, and Corvo. Automotive companies and home appliance makers have been struggling for months to obtain enough chips for building products, and now the problem is spreading to electronic manufacturers and their suppliers. Apple, for example, said it will miss out on more than $6 billion in sales this holiday season because of chip shortages. Intel likewise blamed its lower CPU sales on shortages in power supply and networking chips. But the shortages aren't for the most advanced chips that use the latest manufacturing methods. Instead, the shortages are for what are often called legacy nodes or semiconductors that use older technology to perform functions like power management, connecting to displays or enabling wireless connections. Those are the kind of chips that Global Foundries, a third-party silicon wafer foundry, specialized in manufacturing for its clients. That's where the bigger part of the shortage is because there has been underinvestment in that, Carlford said. For me, we are happy to let the bigger companies kind of serve that single-digit nanometer market and we will be very best in our differentiated technology. Profitability in the foundry business is linked to utilization or the rate that the foundry's factories are running round the clock. Global foundries had a utilization rate of 84% in 2020, but Carlford said that was related to slowdowns at the start of the pandemic. Every day, we try to squeeze out as much as we can. I would say we are over 100%, Kaulfeld said, adding that the company's wafer capacity was sold out through the end of 2023. Kaulfeld said that Global Foundries made a strategic decision in 2018 to stop developing the bleeding edge chip manufacturing technologies foundries like TSMC and Samsung are investing in, and instead focus on less advanced but still essential semiconductors for its clients. Foundries have low margin business models and face high labor, equipment and raw material costs. In its prospectus, Global Foundries said it recorded a gross margin of close to 11% in the first half of 2021. Of the $2.6 billion Global Foundry raised on the public markets, $1.5 billion will be spent on capital expenditures to increase capacity to fill demand, Carlfeld said. It operates plants in the US, Germany and Singapore. Company is still over 85% owned by Mubadala, the United Arab Emirates State Investment Fund. Mubadala took control of the company when AMD spun off its manufacturing arm, which became Global Foundries and focused on chip design in 2008. Kaulfeld said that Mubadala will reduce its ownership stake in Global Foundries in the coming years, but will still continue to support the manufacturer. Over the next, call it five to six years, in a very orderly and transparent way, Mubadala will take some of their ownership out to get more balanced, Kaulfeld said.